Welcome back to Without Shortcuts. Today we are revisiting buttermilk biscuits. So we're gonna make this as simple and easy as possible, accessible to everybody, but just to make sure we're taking all the risk out of making this, go ahead, reach down, hit that like button, maybe give the channel a quick subscription. That's gonna ensure that everything comes out just the way you want it. Now in our last video, um, it was just a little bit off from traditional. There was a couple of extra ingredients here and there. So we wanted to come back and show another recipe that is as easy and simple as it gets. So this one's only got five ingredients. Now because this is so simple and goes so quickly, the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. To get this started, we're just going to go ahead and mix together our dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl. So we've got some flour, we have some baking powder, and a little bit of salt. I'm going to take those. Quick whisk to make sure everything is set. Now, you could certainly make sure your bowls were cold and your implements were all cold and frozen, but like we said, we're just trying to make biscuits. Simple, easy, let's go. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our butter ready. And again, just to make this as easy and simple as possible, we're just gonna grate our frozen butter with the food processor. You could also use a box grater, just watch out for your fingers, or you could just use a knife and cube it up like we did back in our first biscuit video. Pretty simple and easy, just like that. Once we get that, we're going to take our butter, we're going to add that into our flour. So that chunk that was left, not a problem. We're just going to take it, break it up, melting it as little as possible. But if a little bit of this melts, even while you're mixing the butter into your flour, it's not a problem. I know everybody says make sure none of this melts, make sure it's as cold as possible. That's fine. Don't worry about it. As long as you don't have a pool of butter at the bottom of your mix when you're done, you're fine. So you're going to take the butter, you're just going to mix it in, just kind of massage it. The pieces will start coming apart. And you just want each piece of butter coated with flour, kind of crumble it up a little bit and you'll be good to go. Alright, this is pretty well mixed up. The butter is well coated and I think we're pretty much ready to move on and start adding the rest of our ingredients. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mix our buttermilk into our butter and flour. Make sure you get all of that in there. And then we're going to just gently mix this together until just until everything comes together. So that way we don't overwork our dough. All right, and then we're just going to turn that out onto a floured work surface. Next here. All right. And then that's going to look real shaggy, but you just kind of work it together a little bit and it'll come together. Okay, now you can either pat this out with your fingers or we're going to go ahead and use a rolling pin. You just want this down to about a pretty uniform three quarters of an inch thickness all the way around. And you can already see just by looking at how flaky these biscuits are going to be. So then we're going to take a biscuit cutter and just cut out our biscuits. Now while you're here, you can do a biscuit cutter obviously because it's a biscuit cutter. <laughs> or, you know, something round and preferably sharp so you don't smush it, you actually cut it. But as you cut the pieces out, you're going to take them, move them on to your baking sheet. We like to use these pre-cut pieces of parchment paper on the baking sheet, just super easy and convenient. And then as you get them all transferred over, you certainly don't want to waste any of your dough. So you're going to push it all back together and make sure you're using as much of it as possible. Alright, and the last one always looks a little bit funky. That's okay, it tastes the same as all the rest of the biscuits. 
You could certainly do this like we did in the first video with just a sharp knife and cut them into squares. We just wanted to do something a little different, give it a little more traditional shape. Alright, so once those are all on your baking sheet, everything looks good. We're just going to take them and throw them into our 400 degree oven for uh, 13 to 15 minutes. A few moments later. Our biscuits are out. They're looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and give these a taste and see how we did. So these would be great with a little bit of jelly on them and, uh, you know, underneath a bed of gravy, they'd be even better. <laughs> but for this, we're going to do something a little different and we're just going to try them with a little bit of butter on them and see how they came out. All right, so they are pretty flaky. Oh. So you brought out the fancy butter dish for these. I did. I wanted to present nicely. <laughs> All right. A little bit of butter for you, sir. Thank you. Here, here. Here, here. So this is a good biscuit. The yeah, flavor on it is really good. It's got a really good texture from top to bottom as far as having good crunch, mm -hmm. and then nice and soft and good crunch again. Yep. It's got, really some enjoy it. got some nice layers in between there. You know, they are they are definitely different than the biscuits that we made the last time. If you haven't seen that video, check the link up there. Um, last ones we did were a little thicker, a little flakier maybe. Um, but you know, these are these are still real good biscuits. And I mean, we threw these together start to finish, including all the filming time and in between and cooking in probably like 25 minutes. I mean, yeah, this is super easy, super convenient. You could throw this together on just a Wednesday night and have it for a uh, strawberry shortcake in no time flat. Absolutely. That being said, you know, I think there's some adjustments we'd make, but we would definitely use this recipe again. Uh, we'd love to see what you guys do with this recipe, or if you have another recipe that you particularly mm -hmm. like. Hit us up on Instagram or Twitter and show us what you've done. We'd love to see it. We'll certainly respond back to people that post pictures of it. Uh, and I don't think we could ask for anything else. Let us know how it goes. We'll see you the next time around. All right. Till then, skip the shortcuts. Thanks, guys.